guys doing today? It's me, it's me, it's Kellyan. Shaped my forearms today as a symbol to myself that I am on a path. So I used to do this every single other day. I would shave my forearms so that I could see the vascularity on them and feel really good about myself. My vascularity in other locations will never probably be as good as the old, wow, you can't, okay, bad idea, um, there are veins there on my pasty whiteness, as well as scars, I look very something, I did that to remind myself of what I used to do all the time, which was struggle uh, a great deal for dream and idea, and I'm trying to struggle some for a dream tonight, right now. Great example. I saw my living room was trashed because kids and the living room was so messy that I was just... I'm usually the lax one. My wife usually comes down with the hammer of justice and destiny. I instead had the moment of, this is too much. So I picked up the living room and kitchen and this was an opportunity to me to apply a gift, I believe, above. I chose to take it as an I get to moment instead of an I have to moment. I picked up a pile of blankets and I folded one while thinking this is stupid. I will, it's meaningless, this blanket will be unfolded and on the floor again before I wake up in the morning. But then I realized it's not an I have to at all. I don't have to. I get to. It is my domain that I get to clean for my family. And it's not for the kids at all that I folded that blanket. It's for me. I get to fold that blanket and I get to put it across the back of this chair where it lives. And I get to see it for that crystallized moment. I get to see what I did and realize, recognize that it is clean. I get to, I got to do that. Every moment is like this. This is a can of pepper spray. This is a can of pain reliever. They are both cylindrical in shape and fit in my hand. One causes pain, one relieves pain. And I get to choose which one I spray on my neck. My neck hurt and I got to pick whether it hurt worse or felt better, and not all things are like this, I get it, but the shift out here is never going to be the same, as powerful as a shift in here. I think biblical principles go here, fix here, work here, and not in your own power, by the way. I'm not a clean yourself up before Jesus will love you guy. Promise, that is not me. The sweat on my soul says that Jesus loved you before you could ever love him, but chores. You can believe they suck, or you can be thankful you have arms. You get, like, for most of us, we have arms, and for most of the people that have arms, those arms function. I have friends who have body parts that look okay, but don't function more than one. They live their lives with smiles and grace and kindness in their hearts that flows out of their bodies, even though there are issues, some not even their own fault. You get to choose what goes on in here, out there. Someone can walk up to the street and punch you in the face. That's something you cannot control because that's that person's choice, but you can deal with what's in here beforehand. I'm not saying I'd be excited about that. I wouldn't be stoked about that at all. That would be criminal assault, uh, unfortunately. I would have to figure out what I would do. Not something I want to experience. But I get to be alive today, tomorrow, the next day, till this hypothetical, hopefully, punch in the face. I get to be here. My brother doesn't get to do that anymore. My parents don't get to do that anymore. But I do. For those of you that still don't know, I lost both my parents to cancer and my brother to suicide within the span of four years. 
we also lost neighbors, friends, acquaintances. The number of people who I knew that died was around 40 between 2016 and the end of COVID. 40 people I had at least shaken hands with or made eye contact with, said hello, were and then weren't. Their lives ended, their opportunities stopped there. I got to keep going. I get to. You get to. If you're watching this, you get to contemplate if it's even for you or not. If it's not your pizza sauce, if you like only white stuff for some reason, God bless you, I'll pray for you. You can do that. That's you. Me. I get to believe what I believe. I get to do what I need to do. And when I folded that blanket, it wasn't about my kids anymore. It wasn't that they wouldn't appreciate it. I let go of that idea entirely. And I realized that I would burn 0.25 calories <laughs> folding a blanket. And I would get the solace, the gift of looking at that living room clean. I got to see that because I put in the work. It wasn't about my kids or my wife or my dogs at all. My dog was trying to creep up on the table like he does. And I, ooh, I wanted to, you know, but I didn't. I got to be a good, kind pet owner didn't scream at his dog because it's too late to scream right now. You get to choose how you react. You get to put on the pain additive spray or the pain removal goo. That's up to us, isn't it? That's up to you and me. I challenge you this one way, one moment. Whoever gets this far this deep, I'm about to drink some tea and work on some gaming content for the other thing. When you see this, pick one tiny thing. Bless you if you choose. God bless this first. If you choose to go, I get to. Instead of I have to. Or instead of I won't. Instead of I absolutely will not. I get to. I want to. I choose to. I give myself that sovereignty. Oh, it's a scary word. But we have so much control over our lives, where we live and where we were born in America, especially for the Americans here. Whatever hell you grew up in, absolutely, there are things worse than I can imagine. And I had an upbringing, boys and girls, but now I get to be. sovereignty over the moments that hurt, and you can choose to let them help. The wolfie is shaking at the fury of my words, at the power 